Okay, so today I'm going to talk to you guys about the new gimbal from Zhiyun. So they got the Zhiyun Crane 2. Now I know it's getting kind of confusing with all the gimbals that they got out. So they got the Zhiyun Crane version 1, version 2. And the differences between those is they basically handled the same weight, but the version 2 had a better option to balance your camera so you can slide the plate back and forth and it had a different setup here. But they did handle the same amount of weight. Um, and now you have the Zhiyun Crane 2, so not the version 1, version 2, Crane 2 and it handles more weight. So those handled, I think it was 1.2 kilograms, and the new one handles 3.2 kilograms. Okay, so for just a quick example, here I got the Crane version two, and this is the Crane two. Obviously on the Crane version two, you got no digital display to tell you what mode you're in, how much battery life you got, things like that. It's an amazing gimbal, but to have no display or battery life, it's kind of a pain when you're in the field because you don't really know how many more takes you can do and things like that. It is an amazing gimbal, but it's great that they updated features on the new one. So let's go to the new one, Crane version two. Obviously you can see the battery display here. And when I go through the modes, it tells you what mode you're in. So follow mode and then back to PF mode. And you got your start stop trigger there for record. If you got the cable plugged in and hold it in and you know, to turn it on, turn it off. And the menu, basically you go down on the menu and to scroll through it, you kind of just scroll using the wheel. If you want to go back, you just go left, go back in the menu, click down on the menu and say we want to go in the motor, you click right to go into the modes and you know, you select it or get out to uh, get out of there and select the camera, depending on what kind of feed you got. So if you want start stop trigger for Panasonic or Canon, you say we want Panasonic, which is, there we go. And you click enter. And now we're with Panasonic and to go back, you just go like that. And yeah, it's just amazing to have, and I can't wait to test this out whenever I have a Canon camera to test it with focus. So Panasonic, please hurry up and get the focus control. The cool thing about the Zoom Crane 2 is, sorry, is that it can handle follow focus. So that is amazing. So the wheel allows you to focus on the cameras. But the issue is at the moment, it's nothing down to Zoom. Canon is the only one that can do it at the moment. Um, Sony, I think, can do it, and Panasonic can do it. I think they just have to update the firmware, or whatever they have to do to get the camera to feed out properly to the crane to pull focus. So hopefully that will happen soon because I know there's a lot of Sony users and I use GH5 a lot and that would be amazing to have. But I'm gonna try and get my hands on a Canon camera to test it out and see how well it does, see if it's like buggy or anything like that. I'm sure it's pretty smooth, but hopefully I'll get to test it out soon. People that want the gimbals, um, when I switched to these gimbals, I wanted to use the 18 to 35 um, by Sigma, the art series lens, and it was just slightly too heavy to use with the version one and the version two. Um, it would work, but not very well. And basically the new one can do that. And not only can it handle the Sigma 18 to 35, check what else it can handle. Here's the Zeon Crane version two. Hang on, I confused myself now. This is the Zeon Crane two, not version two, the Zeon Crane two. And as you can see, I have got an SLR Magic anamorphic lens on there. And that is crazy. And just to prove that it balances well, let me just pull it into the follow me mode. You can see that I'm panning up and down and there's no craziness going on and I can switch modes and that is just amazing. That is so cool to have in a gimbal, especially a single gimbal. There's no gimbals that I can think of that's like this that can handle an anamorphic lens on the front plus the Sigma 18-35 which I'm shooting on now so I can't show you that right now. Um, but that is amazing to have. That's really, really cool rather than running around with the Ronins and things like that. So that's really cool to have. As you do great products, it's so easy to set up and balance. And I love how you got all your markings here. So if you do want to keep note of where which lens sits or where your camera sits on the plate for balancing, they've got them pretty much everywhere. So you got them here, got them on this axis here, along here, and on the back here as well. So as you can see, you also get a cool little case, you open it up and you got the cool little stand that I mentioned earlier. You got your batteries, this time you got three little batteries and the gimbal fits in there and you got this cool little case, which has got your cables in it to charge your batteries and start stop triggers, things like that. So even the way you put your batteries in, it just looks cooler with this gimbal. You just slot them in here, pop it on, screw it on, ready to go. So to balance the SLR Magic Anamorphic lens on here, I'm using the PL mount version lens because it's slightly shorter than the Micro Four Thirds lens and I do have a fake speed booster on there. But to make sure you can pan and tilt while using the gimbal, I took off the eye cup as you can see and that makes sure I can pan and tilt and it works pretty good. And then obviously you can balance the Sigma 18-35 to with the eye cup on there because you got enough room. So that's really cool. 
Okay, so here it is with the 18 to 35 on there. I can't talk and sit down and show you what it's like because I need a wide lens and my wide lens is on here and I can't show you both because I've only got one 18 to 35, but this is just to show you that how smooth it is with the 18 to 35. This is in follow me mode, so it's gonna pan and tilt, follow up, go back into lock mode, so it's not gonna lock on you and go anywhere. And pan and follow again, so pretty freaking good. And this will obviously be uh, for your low mode, so as you can see, if you're doing low angles, you can see that we're pretty low as well, so. That's about it. So that's kind of it for me today. So thanks for watching this video. I will post some of the footage with the Canon camera when I get it soon with the Crane 2. I will check you guys next time.